Hi, boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators to solve word problems. Here's our first problem. Alexis bought 15 tenths liters of water to soccer practice. At the end of the practice, she had 7 tenths of a liter of water left. How much water did Alexis drink during practice? So we're going to think about this. We're going to use a picture to help us solve this problem. If she had 15 tenths, that means she has more than one liter. So when we draw our box, we're going to need to have two boxes that equal a liter. In this fraction, we know that one tenth is, or 10 tenths would be one whole. So we have one liter is 10 tenths and a second liter is 10 tenths. We know that she drank 15 liters, so we're going to shade in 15 of those boxes, and I'm going to write 15 tenths underneath. So right now, this is the water that she started with. She has 15 tenths of a liter. Now, we don't know how much she drank, so we have a missing number. We, we're taking away a certain amount, but we don't know what it is. So we're going to use a letter to be a placeholder. I'm going to use the letter N. So I'm going to be taking away a missing number of liters. That's the money, the water that she drank. And I know when she did that, she's going to have seven tenths left. So I have to figure out how many she's going to drink in order to end up with seven tenths. So I'm going to cross out one tenth at a time until I get to seven tenths left. So I'm going to cross one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Notice now she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths left. So since we were able to cross out 8 tenths, N is going to equal to 8 tenths. That's the amount that she drank. So in this equation, if you had done 15 minus 7 tenths, you would also have gotten 8 tenths. But I wanted you to visualize why we got to that 8 tenths. Here's another problem. Charlene has one container with five eighths pounds of blueberries and another container with six eighths pounds of blueberries. If she uses two eighths pounds of blueberries to make muffins, how many pounds of blueberries does Charlene have left? So I want to picture myself um, looking at Charlene. She's probably in a kitchen or in her bakery and she has two containers of blueberries. Are those blueberry containers full? think for a second. If it's five eighths, it's not full. It would need eight eighths to be full. If it's six eighths, that's not full either. So she has two partial containers, a partial pounds of blueberries. So let's make a picture to show those blueberries. We know one pound is going to equal to eight eighths. So she's going to have, um, once she puts those together, she probably will end up with more. But let's look at one pound at a time. So one pound is five eighths. So the first container had five eighths. So we're going to color that. The second container has six eighths. So we're going to color the five eighths and then continuing coloring on. So if we're putting those two together, that means we're going to be adding the two. So looking at my picture or just knowing that 5 plus 6 equals 11, I see that she has a total of 11 eighths of blueberries. Does that answer my question? My question is how much does she have left? No, we first have to take away how much she uses. So we know she had a total of 11 eighths and she's going to use 2 eighths. So my next equation, I'm going to start with my 11 eighths that she has and I'm going to take away 2 eighths. So in my picture, I can cross out 2 eighths. And 11 eighths minus 2 eighths would equal 9 eighths because 11 minus 2 is 9. And looking at my picture, I now have 9 eighths left. I hope, full, I hope that was helpful. Um, oh, sorry, just kidding. Moving on. Um, another way you could write 9 eighths, and we'll talk about that in further lessons, is it would be 1 whole and 1 eighth. Because you can see she has 1 whole pound and 1 eighth of a pound left. Okay. 
So I hope you found this helpful. Please like um, below and subscribe for more lessons from the Math Maniac. Have a great day.